Tuncha <laughs> is a hack and slash side scroll beat em up, depending on what character you use. Uh, there is a roguelike element. Uh, it does have Hat Kid up left corner there from a Hat in Time. Uh, very, really, really fun uh, uh, 3D collectathon game. And uh, I thought it was actually just kind of like a random character they threw in there, but each individual character here you could select and play and level up individually. They have their own skill sets and everything. Uh, and, and they each have their own story. And I thought for sure Hat Kid wouldn't have one because maybe it's just an added, you know, an added character just to sweeten the deal for the game, right? Uh, no, it's got our own story and everything, so it's kind of nice. So we're going to get in uh, to base camp here. We're going to go on a... Uh, I told you guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to select our character. Uh, you could choose oh, again any one of the five. Each one has a different attack style. Um, I, mo mostly the same when you're first starting out. You'll end up you'll end up changing the uh, uh, or upgrading and getting different moves and everything later on. But initially, your character moves are pretty much the same. Uh, you have a, a heavy attack, a um, or sorry, you have a regular attack. Uh, you have a lift attack, and then you have a magic attack. So your combos are pretty simple. You imagine you probably would play this game on like a SNES controller or something like that, not necessarily like an Xbox controller. Which most, I mean, if you think back to like the you know most of your your best uh, uh, hack and slash and beat 'em ups like uh, Turtles in Time, for example, like it doesn't really have that many buttons, you know. Um, but yeah, each character does behave slightly differently in the beginning. There's really not a huge difference between them. Um, the character animations themselves are really cute, like like really really cute. Uh, but for for this for this demonstration today, we're going to play it as Hat Kid because that's the one that I'd want to take out. Plus, they all have their own individual um, uh, uh, idol animations, and hers is just the absolute best. Uh, so yeah, you can't we can't go without her. So um, she's gonna she's gonna idle here in a second here. Like, come on. <laughs> like when a boss comes on the screen, like she just starts doing this because she's idle for that long. <laughs> uh, I'll show you guys all this stuff later. We got to go get some currency and we're gonna go through. Yes, I'm ready. I already beat the first boss. I made it to the second world or the second biome. Uh, however, I still have to go through the first biome in order to get to the second biome again. Think of this like Dead Souls or something, right? Like that kind of run. Um, you get a couple options at the end of each one. First one, you're gonna get your um, your first rune or spirit rune uh, or whatever it's called. And uh, this is gonna help kind of set the stage here. So sample obtain. Oh, we got our first sample here. Uh, defeat enemies have a chance to draw samples unique to them. Collect several types to unlock specific information about them. So yeah, I unlocked a new character recently um, that, oh, hold on, let me get out of the way. Boom, 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 boom. That uh, give, what the heck? Get, get up in the air. Why aren't you guys going up? There we go. Y'all fat, Jesus. Get up there, get up there. Let me get my moves on. Um, Anyways, yeah, I love the character that uh, has a special kind of codex type thing where you get all the lore and everything. So you can look at these samples, probably. Uh, notice that my... Yeah, there it is! That my special's up! There we go. A for awesome. Hey, look at that. It's my first time using that ability. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one to start with here. So when you, while your size grade is A or higher, there's a chance for an enemy to strike by lightning. Uh, so this is, um, uh, so we take this and you see the upper left corner. See your idle animation? How could you not fall in love with that? Upper left corner, you can see that little yellow or little uh, orb that is now there, that rune. I could get, I think, four of them, I think. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, but uh, that one, they can all be upgraded. Can I see that while I'm here? Or do I have to go to a special? I wonder if they, let me see that here. Now, let me see it here. They show it here at the bottom, but you can't actually go in there and take a closer look at it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Playing with the Duke controller, uh, which seems to be doing pretty well. The only the only ability that I needed to use that wasn't on the, uh, it wasn't very easily accessible. Dang it, sorry to move the mouse out of the way. Was the, uh, uh, was anything with the left bumper, right bumper, which is the alt. But the alt is not something to use often, so it's no big deal. No big deal. So yeah, you want to get the highest score. By the way, the Duke is the original classic um, uh, Xbox controller. It's just a slightly different shape. Obviously, any regular Xbox controller, you'd be totally fine. Uh, but yeah, it's slightly irregular shape because they did not have left, right bumpers. They had triggers, but the bumpers were on the face of the, uh, um, on the face of the, uh, the whoa, Jesus, of the controller. Okay, my, my shit sucks right now. Oh my gosh, get over here. <laughs> my score! Would you, what the heck? Give me my stuff! Yeah, B, I'll take a B. I'll take a B. God, oh good, we have more. So the idea is to try to get as many varied hits as possible. If she has a bunch of hits, woo, let's get away with that. 
Okay, one, two, three, and then... Oh, come on. Oh, that was, that was a whack-ass run right there. So she does have a couple of specials that I unlocked, like combo specials. Uh, she can do some pretty cool, like uh, this. Let me see. Do, do, do. I guess I'm going to do one's on combat. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, she'll do a little push. She has a heavy attack there. Uh, one, two, three, boom. Oh, one, two, three. Uh. There we go. A little sword attack. There it is. There it is. And then I can swing back. So, uh, what is that? Uh, uh. And then hold it. No. I thought I could swing back too. Oh, maybe I couldn't afford that one. I'll show you guys that at the end. <clears throat> Their unlocks, this one's pretty good. It's very, um, it's not so much like progression. Uh, you can choose any ability really as long as you can afford it and then get it. So you can kind of tailor your, your character early uh, if you feel like you're fighting a certain way, whether it's the aerial attacks mostly or if you're uh, uh, maybe more range attack or whatever. So it's kind of a nice way of, of progressing. And again, I'll show you guys that at the end. Just want to get into the action first, get these monkeys out of the way. They're a little tracking, whatever it is, they sh like walnuts or whatever they throw. Dang it. Oh, lost points for that. Um, the little tracking thing that they hit you with is so annoying because they throw it. There's very oh man, Get my ass kicked. Just give them, run them over. Because you have very little time to react if they were to happen to fall right uh, in front of you, right? There you go. I'll take that. All right. Da -da -da -da. So one thing that. Uh, did end up getting kind of uh, repetitive was fighting these frogs constantly. There's only a handful of enemies that you get in the first in the first round, in the first stage, um, <clears throat> and the, the, each room is basically the same. Like you get a big rectangle to fight in. Um, dang it! Oh my gosh! I'm getting fucking whacked here. Come on! You get a big a big ass rectangle to fight in. There's no obstacles. There's no exploding things. There's no fences. There's nothing like that. Uh, but there are enemy attacks that do do like put in a let's go. Uh, that will put in a, uh, like kind of a blockade type thing. I took damage on that run? Probably. Take it away. Whoop. Their attack is so fast. Uh huh. Oh. Pelt him. Come on. Oh. Give me an A at least. Oh, jeez. I'll get my ass kicked this time. There's not a lot of health. Right? Like, you don't really get a ton of health as you're just out there doing these matches and everything. Unless you have a specific rune that will give you health um, when you kill enemies or when you enter a room or whatever. You, you don't really have a whole lot of opportunities to get health. I do have one potion that I can use. I try to save that. Get out of the way here. Boom. I start building up that number. Push. Push. Get him out. Oh, he took damage anyways. Just Whoa! Oh my god, I'm just getting dunked on here. I, I swear, I, I swear I beat the first- Oh no! I, I swear I beat the first boss, I was cruising through this first biome. I love that. Nope. I'm trying to use some varied attacks here. Oh, dang. C. Oof. Oof. Bottom right corner uh, is what I get, so I get a, a grade, a style grade at the end. The bottom right corner bar starts to fill up, and that's a currency you can end up spending for uh, uh, modifications to the run itself. So I can in insert uh, uh, a, uh, a healing point or something right before the boss or some shit, I think, right? Uh, so your retaliation, if attack knocks you down, you immediately counter it with a piercing attack. Ooh, sick. There you go. Get it, get it girl. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's go. Ah, here we go. This is a good one. These challenges. Uh, not too dissimilar from other roguelikes. A challenge shows up. You put in some money. And then, uh, let me see. So we'll just put in boop, 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 boop. There we go. Uh, yes, I'm ready. So which one's this one? Avoid being damaged for times for 30 seconds. No damage for 30 seconds. Stay calm. Stay calm. Yeah, it's easy. Easy. So I get 10, 10 giant orbs that I can use to spend on upgrading my runes. Later, so there we go. 
18 to 28, right? Oh, what? Oh, is it a different button? Bucket. Let me see. Hold on a sec. Where's that bucket? Oh, wrong button. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so I have 30. So bottom left corner. Uh, that currency I could spend on um, <clears throat> on leveling up my runes. Each one we'll see when we go back to camp. Each one has a uh, uh, has different. Like for example, if it gives a percentage of an increase of something, you could raise that percentage. Uh, Earth spirit. Oh, we've been watching all of some time. You've been watching and waiting. Oh. Me and the other spirits aren't completely clear on what your particular intentions are, but we sense in your heart a timeless desire and worry. Hack kid, this is how she talks. I love it. <laughs> you say you're not human? That doesn't matter to me. We only want to understand you and your companions. Find allies if possible. Nothing more. But you humans have a tendency towards deceit. It's in your nature. I just thought I wasn't human though. Uh, so it's who you are. It's undeniable. You'll have to prove me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> have it your way then. We'll keep doing what we've been doing until your truth is out in the open. By the way, the other characters actually do have dialogue, and each one is very unique. Although I would say that I will say that some of it's kind of uh, um, there's no personality in the actual writing itself, the way they talk. Like none of them really have any. Like each one, uh, each character kind of talks the same. If that makes sense. Let's just hope it happens sooner rather than later. While you're still used, used to us. Talking the same as in like, you don't really get some of their personality through the way that they talk, but you get the personality from the, what they say. That, yeah, that makes sense. I think that makes sense. <laughs> uh, sometimes there's stuff over here. Okay, cool. No monkey. Uh-huh. You know, the way that. Swing. Oh, baby. This guy. Gotta go. This guy has a shield on him, and then you'll, he'll actually break... Uh, we'll break that shield, and then we'll get... Come on. There he goes. Now we can really throw him around. There you go. Just combo all the all the things. Just a B? God, man, I've got S's and S+. Plus. Jeez. You can get up to triple S, by the way. Uh, the highest I've gotten is double S. See, you got some choices in where you go. Just a little bit. All right, I have an alt ready to go. Let's line these dudes up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Really, it's it? No, it's more. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get that. Let's get that tier up. Corral them all. Let's go. Now you can't play multiplayer, shared screen, uh, like any other, like any other good hack and slash. Ah, this guy. Yeah. Oh my god. Holy shit. Get him dunked on. Help! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. That was whack. That was whack. I get hardly anything for that. You gotta watch out because these guys will attack you while your back's turned. It's not like some games where they'll just stand there. Sometimes they will though, but for the most part they will they will take this opportunity like that guy right there to hit you. So you can't just sit there and keep somebody stun locked while the friends stand around like uh. <laughs> oh dang I was just about to freaking roast him with my thing dang it it's fine we'll take a different character out oh, that was my best character though so uh your characters never die they get teleported back by uh by the 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 uh elder there uh but we're gonna take this character here and we'll just see oh we got a little something here so he says, oh, you happy to see more spirits around? They don't hide anymore. Are you talking about the earth spirits? That one seemed like a stuck-up spirit to me. He does speak with authority, even though he seems to have allies by his side. He's stupid. Spirit's not stupid. So, for example, Ogi, Ogi has a has a, a speaking style, right? Uh, in the way that his character's lines are written. Uh, and so his, his stands out. But all the other characters feel very, all the ones that I've met so far feel very, um, uh, very much the same. What do you think of this one, Ogi? Ogi not know. Ogi think good, but Ogi make mistake before. <laughs> Let's try and learn more. Okay. Uh, can I afford any upgrades here? Let's see. This is where we want to go and check all this stuff out. And then I'll do another one for you guys. Um, let me see. So I have 29 essence to spend. And I have three different trees I could put it in. Let me see. Uh, ground pound, 25. It could slam on the ground. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, it doesn't matter. Anyone I choose here, I won't be able to show because I'm going to do a different character. Um... Let me see. Double swing. Oh, I didn't have it selected. Okay. 
That's why I went for uh, uh, the scooter, and then I, yeah, I want to save it for the scooter explosion. <laughs> of course. Uh, I can't afford anything in this tree anyways, so I would probably wait to go over here and spend it elsewhere. But nope, I'm going to save it for now. Oh, there is one thing. Uh, one thing I'll note is after I beat I beat the first uh, boss, and they give me this up, these upgrades here. You pretty much have to get these upgrades if you want to really be successful in the second uh, biome. You just have to. Uh, the second biome is is that much more difficult. And so I think what the what the game is doing is basically like you unlock these and then you're you're basically in that tier. But I need 80 essence in order to do that, which is a pretty good run. Uh, well, probably uh, I guess if I don't buy, buy into the game or something like that's probably a pretty good run. Like the game, little mini game we played, the uh, don't take damage. Uh, then I think I get to keep those 25 and then I can turn around and spend it. Over here, we can uh, upgrade our runes. Like I was saying, we have 30 of those things ready to go. So we already have one maxed out. This one's for gliding. I just haven't seen it since I maxed it out. Of course, RNG. Um, I want to go down and see, is there anything that I can upgrade like right away? Here we go. So this one's stylish points. 25 needed for level 3. Stylish grade normal race rate loss is reduced. Uh, we just had this one. I can increase the chance. Uh, let me see, 30 needed. Increase the chance to 35% for lightning strike. Uh, and then this one is explosion. Area explosion. I would say, um, you know, this one, it's like a easy 30 right here. We just dump it in here. Tapping it's faster than holding it down. Uh, then over here, this is where we spend these transmutation uh, little balls, little multicolor balls that we collected for having a good style score. And then this we could use to, uh, like, for example, uh, Amazon Trail Healing Fountain. So we'll probably put that in and we'll probably see it uh, this time. But I'm not going to take her. I'm going to take... Um, I'll take da, 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 this one. Let me see this one. Yeah, she has, I like her style here. A little bit of range and all that stuff. Um, and good reach, too. She has 19. Okay, here we go. Combat finisher, deliver a sharp bite attack that knocks down enemies. That's pretty rad. Um, I just had to start there, by the way. Like I said, you could go anywhere. Anywhere you can afford to put some in. Some of them already unlocked, but they're basic stuff like jump, launch, stuff, etc. Uh, she can't afford any of these, so I guess I'll go ahead and dump into here. Let me see if I reach. Viper, and then this overflow super attack. So yeah, I don't have her super unlocked. Um, but she does a shotgun blast. Let me see super attack. Launch several spears in the air. Yeah. So her range might be, be get pretty interesting. So is this X Y? No problem. Let me see. X Y. Okay, cool. She hits him with the snake. There we go. There we go. Okay, everything else we're pretty much good to go. This is where the collector you, you unlock. Uh, lore about certain things and also story elements, but we're gonna get in we're gonna see if that healing uh, thing pops up somewhere in the middle And then hopefully I could show you guys the uh, the end the the first boss. Ha, I hope <laughs> I gotta actually make it there first. All right, let's go But this is what you're gonna be doing the first couple hours of your plan You're gonna be grinding this first area so we get used to fighting frogs because it's just gonna be your life dude for reals <laughs> That's the only thing, the only thing that sucks, is, especially if you're trying different characters. If you're trying different characters, then... Whoa, watch out. Um, whoa, gosh. i my combo points in here. I gotta get that style stuff up. But yeah, if you're trying different characters, like I was, like I have I have a few hours in the game and not a whole lot of progression, strictly because I was just trying every character. Oh, no. Oh. She doesn't have any moves. Like with Hat Girl, I have so many moves. The uh, the slash and poke is the only thing I have, so I lose a little bit of diversity points there for my style. Oh hey, look at that! Was this the we upgraded? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think so. But I would say, you know, playing multiplayer on this, I. Uh, Especially if you have like a kid or something like that, or somebody who maybe hasn't played a whole lot of them. This is a pretty easy game to get into, and visually very, you know, it's a good looking game. Um, watch this guy. So, like, if you're trying to get somebody into hack and slashes or something, I don't know why, but, you know, you never know. Like your kid or something, or a cousin, or a niece, or a nephew, or something. Um, then, yeah, I would say, like, this is a great one. It, you know, aesthetically, it looks good. Um, there's a diversity of characters there, including Hat Girl. Uh, if you're if your kid or niece or, or whatever doesn't know uh, who Hat Girl is, then you should introduce him to her. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my move here. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, there. Give me, give me an A. Give me an A. Oh God, do some A. All right, jeez, it's gonna take forever for her to level anything up. Gonna have to do multiple. All right, continue the next. No choices. Sweet. Hey, I might actually beat this first boss. <laughs> He's tough. He was a tough one. Oh, it's another Earth thingy, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I don't want. I don't want to spoil my story here. Let's see. 
The jungle used to be brimming with sounds of monkeys, birds, and nests. Like my favorite were the macaws. You perch on the walls of the river basin, eating clay and squawking all day. And I and the other river, other spirits don't shy away from change, but this feels wrong. Hmm. 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 Here we go. Get out of here. Shit. Come on, where's everybody? All right. Woo, let's get out of the way. Get him coming close, close up, close up. There's somebody here. Yeah, there he is. All right, cool. Now we know roughly what we're dealing with. We'll start. Beat up this one for the first. <laughs> oh, it looks like her her um ability to to double dash is actually probably linked to something else because it doesn't happen all the time. Throwing her bullshit. Like a banana. Is it? Is it a plantain? It's probably a plantain. Like, not really banana. Have you ever eaten a raw plantain? Like, just not knowing that it was not a banana? I have. Let me tell you. You never forget. You never forget your first plantain. Just pry it open. You're like, wow, man, this thing is rough. This is gonna be a beefy. This is a beefy banana. And then you pop it open. You're like, okay. This is not a banana at all. Let's see, there we go. After doing air dash, you can glide. This is great, and I have pell pellets too, this. Boss fight, oh, it's useless in this fight. <laughs> the glide itself is not actually, we could put some good use to the glide. So here we go. First boss, it's got a very long name. We gotta remember we have a potion, we gotta use it. I guess I just wasn't expecting to die on my first run, jeez. All right, here he comes. How are you still alive? You simply can't understand strength. How could you? Being so small and puny, no one can ever destroy me. Maybe not. We're still going to try, and we'll eventually figure out what's bringing you back to life and stop it too. Come and try, scum. You see, like they all just—they all just sound the same. Like this, this god of a giant. Uh, what is this thing? Like a, be a badger or something? Uh, like I would expect it just have like a, a, a way, an inflection or something in the way that it talks. But there's nothing like that there. All right, so first we dodge these things. Watch out for the briars that show up. And then we're gonna go over here and whoop on him a little bit. Hit him with some pew 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 pew, some snake pew pew right there. Is he gonna, come on, he's gonna do it again? There he goes. He's slacking here. And we're gonna break the shield. And we do, he goes down. Oh crap, yeah, I messed up. Distance here. But yeah, when he goes down, we break the shield, we go down, we do damage. But he's not attacking for some reason. That's weird. Never gone any easy on me before. Oh, I can't reach him. There's another, uh, there's another phase coming up where I can reach him. Oh, dang it, the briars. Ugh! Gotta give it, like, an extra half a second. I'm out of here. That knocking sound. That's me out of, uh, mana. Gotta get close. Whoop on him a little bit. Generate some mana. Ooh! Generate a couple shots there. Oh, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, good, 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 good. Give me a little room to work. Whoa! Oh, God, got hit. Distance, okay. Well, that was weird. <laughs> little animation issue there. Ooh. Come on, come on. Woo! Oh, we're almost back to the briars. Beat on him, beat on him, beat on him, beat on him. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oh, shit. 10 damage, of course. Knock me back. Okay, I gotta break these things. Gotta break these things because he's got a heavy attack coming that I can't block. Break through this, have to break through this. Oh man. I don't know how long it takes exactly, but it's unblockable attack. It's like 30 damage. Okay, we'll take a couple more there. He's gonna do this. I gotta get in here. Oh, 
versus Mavigari. Defeated. I had like a D score. Awesome. New skills out of the tree. So now she has the ability to upgrade uh, in order to uh, be viable in the next in the next area. And I'll go into, I'll go to the next area actually just to show you guys just how much I'm about to get my ship pushed in. Here we go. Puerto Providencia. Welcome to the next biome. All right, I see another big rectangular room, but this time, oh. Well, I guess I should probably upgrade something. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Let me upgrade. What does it need? I have 65. Oh, see? See what happens when I don't spend it on some bullshit games? Uh, let me see. Which one I have right now equipped? This one here. Let's see, chance for defeat. Oh, I can't. Sorry, I can only buy them. I can't. Um, yeah, I'm not going to buy other stuff. That's fine. I'll just save them. Yeah, I forgot. You can't upgrade them there. You can only... Um, uh, you can only uh, buy new ones, so if you needed another one or something, you could buy it there. But I'm going to save my current, my essence. Whoa! So yeah, we have fish. They have slightly different moveset than others. Um, but, and we also have frogs again. So if, you got, if you're really tired of frogs before, guess what? They're returning. Lots more frogs here. Amphibians everywhere. We've got fish everywhere. we got fat boy frogs here. We also have some other characters. I'm going to show their faces soon. But I'm doing, you can see, like, I, I, I'm spending a little extra time on some of these characters. Like, it's it's taking, it's going to take a little bit longer to get through them because my character does not have the 15% damage uh, increase. Uh, which which adds up, which adds up when you're doing, like, crits. Bah, 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 bah. Man, all that adds up, man. Get out of here. That was slick. See that turnaround fire there? All right, this is gonna get a rune, right? So we're gonna get usually the first one. Okay, no, no, okay, not this one. Cool. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna retire out of this one with a lot of uh, uh, of essence to spend. Upgrade this character a little bit. That's good. Yeah. So but there's definitely a there's definitely a uh, a hump you have to get over in terms of grinding within this. I mean, the game's still fun, but you might find yourself doing the first the first uh, area several times. But yeah, once I started getting Essence lined up and I wasn't spending it on stupid games or whatever or just trying to focus on one character, like that just made a huge difference. So be wary. While some of your skills or some of your currency carries over to different characters, not all of it does. Lightning everywhere, that's what I want to see. There's also one that speeds you up by like 50% or something. You upgrade it, um, which is pretty rad. <laughs> My score, bitch, get up here. Lightning strike mid-air. Tang, look at that. What did I get here? Oh, this is going to be the, the other rune here. That's a good one. Like explosions once you get over A. Yeah. <laughs> now, I could shard those if I if I wanted to. I guess if I had like a, if I already had one, I could shard it and it'll turn it into uh, uh, experience that I could use elsewhere. I think where it's going to shine for some of you is going to be the multiplayer aspect. Get in here, Castle Crasher style, bunch of people. Just have a blast. I love playing these games, like local co-op stuff. Hard to do while hard to do while intoxicated though. Like that, that's a tough one. I like, you can, you can, but you know you really do, you need somebody on the team that's that's sober and doing everything, doing everything right. Gosh, I'm messing up. Because if everybody's a mess, then nothing's getting done. You shit getting done. Nope. Break that. Nope. Oh god. Am I gonna make it to the next one? I want to see it now. She's far enough. We we paid the price. The price of time. Yeah, I could go back to camp, and I, I, could, I, I could easily afford now the, uh, uh, the upgrades I need for this. It's like 80, right? Okay, so not quite. I could get a couple more. Then I could easily upgrade this character to max. So she would be the one I would bring back and not hack it. I'd switch it up there. Oh, what the? What the? Jesus! I haven't seen this guy in the wild yet. I've only seen him in challenges. Mm -hmm. Oh, the tongue just out of reach. 2.5D, baby. Okay, now he's gonna do his charge thing. Yep. 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 Woo! Woo! Whoa! Ho ho ho! 100 health! Okay, 90 health! What the heck? Is, what is this chicken? Where did the chicken come from? Whoa. Is he moving faster? Okay, he's waiting for me to land, looks like. It was. Oh, Jesus. 
Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, these guys will wait in the middle. Watch out for that guy's bullshit. Okay, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, dirt hurts! Man! Ah, oh, I'm bringing you back to camp, don't worry. All right, well, hey. Huge upgrades for her. Let's go ahead and check them out, see if we can get a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, that was easy. Let me see. Let me see. Can I afford a bunch of 8 of 80? So, perfect. It's exactly what I needed to get both of them. Look at that. So now, she's the one that I would bring back. So my base damage increased by 50% and my maximum hit points and mana points by 100. So she has double the health and mana. So yeah, already she's, she's, she's echelons above anybody else in this campfire. Just by having one good run. So it's not too hard, I guess, if you have a good run. Uh, but I also got pretty lucky in that boss. I feel like it was taking it easy on me, but you know, it could just be me. It's that good. So that is Puncher. Currently available on Steam and Switch. Pretty solid Switch game, actually. Yeah, if you want to play this multiplayer. Um, yeah, it's 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 a decent game. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent hack and slash. slash. The uh, art style's great. Music and all that stuff works. Got all funky tunes and stuff like that every once in a while. Uh, the story elements, like I said, the, uh, the the delivery of the lines could be uh, worked on a little bits from a you know from a, from a. a, a text standpoints <laughs> um, put a little bit of character put a soul in those words um and, but otherwise though yeah pretty solid pretty solid so check it out my name is mike bak phony love you guys thanks for watching this is for breakfast thanks for see ya